Big adventure channel here, guys. If you like this kind of stuff, if you like four wheeling, if you like fishing, camping, uh, anything outdoors related, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And just as a reminder, the Alberta Outdoor Adventure Expo is coming up. It's September long weekend, 2023. If you guys want to come out, learn a new skill. We've got uh, bushcraft courses, we've got fishing, we've got paddle boarding, we've got yoga. Anything you want to do, uh, I believe we're bringing back some outdoor and adventure photography stuff again this year as well. Uh, if you guys want to hang out with hundreds and hundreds of awesome like-minded people, this is going to be where you're going to want to do it. Hi, my name's Dave, and I've spent most of my life outdoors here in Canada's western frontier. I believe one thing to be true. Outside is therapy. It's where we both reconnect and disconnect. I hope you'll come with me as we build, explore, and repeat. Welcome back to the shop. Today we're doing uh, some shop work. We have Al Everest in the house who's going for uh, some updates on his campers. I have been asked several times now is how do I take the camper off the truck if I want to? And the simple answer to that is just, you just use a set of camper jacks. We have designed the camper in such a way that we've added some mounting bracket locations so that you can actually pair that with a set of camper jacks so you can lift the camper up and off. Al actually owns the second no, the third yucca pack, the third yucca pack that's ever been made is this yucca pack here. So let's jump into Al's unit and get his bad boy up and running so that he can get out and enjoy the weekend. Okay, so first things first, uh, as far as accessories on Al's truck goes, uh, Al rocks a tree line outdoors, uh, straight out awning. Uh, they make a great product um, and they also make 100% Canadian made rooftop tents as well. Uh, there is a single latch. So this section here is uh, a, a single paddle latch. We eventually moved to two latches on the side just to allow to, for better compression into the seals. Um, so that's a big change that we've made. Now on the back here is where we're going to be focusing our attention today. We're going to remove the latches from the, from, from the surface of the tent. We're going to replace it with the new latches that we've got, which are these nice powder coated black turnstile latches. Um, this just gives you a nice peace of mind if you are downtown in a city somewhere. Crime right now is way out of control everywhere and we want people to be able to feel safe and have their camper secure. So you can lock the top on a Yucca Pack camper. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to go along the sides here, right along here, and we're going to be installing uh, some lift brackets. So these are Yucca Pack camper lift brackets. These are what you're going to attach to the side of your camper like this when you want to lift it off. Um, so let's get into it. We don't have a lot of time. We've got a couple hours. We want Al to be back on the road around lunchtime. Like, no, like they weren't no. 
was our that was our second no our third Tacoma that we ever made getting some upgrades for the weekend coming up so uh, now we need to get back to work on the two models that we have on the floor a brand new model for the Chevy Colorado trail boss this thing's gonna be sick a Yucca Pack camper is made out of fully formed pieces all of the structure and the strength of the camper itself comes from its shape so every piece both the bulkhead side the rear door side and the two walls uh, are formed out of one eighth aluminum all of the strength and rigidity that comes from the actual structure itself um, is transferred evenly throughout the body of the camper and then those pieces are actually bolted together and then we send it for coating and then we seal it and all of that good stuff we're going to get back to bolting these things up right now then we're going to throw in the cabinet pieces as well assemble the rear door frame for the next camper that might wrap us up for the day and now we're going to get back into these two campers so let's do it All right, so now we get to play 1500 pickup because I dropped all of my damn bolts and nuts on the floor. This is awesome. I love it when that happens. us uh, we have not an adventure factory video in a while so I figured we would take you guys into the shop a little bit hang out with me while I build a couple yucca packs and do what we do on a daily basis here at blind man overland <sighs> all right guys that's gonna do it for us today thank you so much for joining us on this episode it's been a blast here just a typical Friday here in the life of Dave at Blind Man Overland. Uh, if you guys like this kind of content, I'm really gonna encourage you guys to hit the like and subscribe button because we build these things all the time and then we take them out west and we just explore with them. We do all sorts of stuff. It is Friday. It's uh, Friday now at 9.30 in the afternoon. So we've been closed now for an hour and a half, um, but we're still here because that's just what you do when you're building a brand. Uh, we're gonna be going out fishing this weekend, I think is what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep close to home. We're going to hit some of the local lakes here in central Alberta. We might take the boat out to Sylvan Lake. Uh, we haven't been on Sylvan Lake since ice over. Uh, so we were catching some walleyes and some burbot, really good burbot season last year on Sylvan Lake. So we're going to head back there this weekend, maybe bring a friend or two with us and just take the boat out and have a really good time. If we can get the boat motor running, that'll maybe be an early morning thing tomorrow, bring the boat in figure out a way to get that engine running. We did pick up an engine earlier this spring. So 
Uh, we're going to end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Dave. This was Blind Men Outdoors. Big adventure channel here, guys. If you like this kind of stuff, if you like four-wheeling, if you like fishing, camping, uh, anything outdoors related, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And just as a reminder, the Alberta Outdoor Adventure Expo is coming up. It's September, long weekend, 2023. If you guys want to come out, learn a new skill, we've got... Uh, bushcraft courses, we got fishing, we've got paddle boarding, we got yoga, anything you want to do. Uh, I believe we're bringing back some outdoor and adventure photography stuff again this year as well. Uh, if you guys want to hang out with hundreds and hundreds of awesome like-minded people, this is going to be where you're going to want to do it. The Alberta Outdoor Adventure Expo in Alberta. Go to www.aoaexpo.com if you want to know more. Uh, shout out to everybody that came out for the last two years. This is our third annual year doing the expo. So to all of our vendors, all of our guests, we can't wait to see you guys again this year. It's getting very exciting. We're in July now. So we will see you guys there for everyone that's coming. Uh, and for those of you going to the BC Overland Rally, you might see this mug there. Let's hope. Uh, if we can get far enough on these campers, we'll try and be it out there. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. Live free. Be wild. Have a good weekend.